Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of August 14th to the 20th, 2023. First card out for you is the Garden and the Gate. Okay, this is a really interesting card because it kind of shows you in your comfort zone and you created a beautiful, beautiful garden within that comfort zone. Like so much love and life is in the little life that you created, your home, your social sphere, everything you got going on. It's really, really beautiful. And I feel like you perfected life as you know it, but it's interesting because it, it almost feels like the second you become at peace like totally 100% like at peace with what you've created I there's just something within you that's like all right now let's do something else and it's like can I ever just sit in this peace like why do I always have to constantly be going out of my comfort zone doing more you know and that's just life for you so we see that energy coming up strongly this week for you where it's like i finally feel like i got into a nice rhythm and routine for myself and now my wanderlust or my intuition is saying well what if we did this so it'll look different for all of you but i just see that energy coming up so strongly next we have challenges coming up yep you're addicted to challenges and that's not a bad thing challenges are really good they help your soul evolve it says unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you open, if you are open. Please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. So there may be questions that you have in your life that remain unanswered this week. And I almost see this as connecting you so much closer with the universe, with your spirituality, because it's like, all right, I don't have the answers right now, but show me the way. Some of you may be talking to your spirit guides or the universe a lot more this week and kind of just asking for signs like okay this spirit guide or universe at large show me signs for what to do here how to overcome this challenge so it, it literally is bringing you closer to your own connection to spirit your own place in this tapestry of life so challenges bring you closer to that so there is a silver lining there we also have message in a bottle coming through which literally is this card of and also very significant the number 15 is coming out and that is a day this week so on tuesday um there may be significant messages from the universe or someone may literally contact you um out of the blue and see how it's all blue i feel like there's going to be a message or some type of communication some type of turn of events involving communication with another person out of the blue this week so it's something that you you can't really predict because it's, it's going to feel out of the blue that's what i'm predicting that you will be surprised at this sudden communication or change of mind that someone is having and also i'm, I'm hearing the message from spirit right now whatever you think this is gonna be that's like popping into your head right now it's not that okay so whatever popped into your brain as I was saying that message, like you'll be contacted out of the blue or some unexpected messages from the universe. Spirit is now saying like, whatever just popped into your brain, Aquarius, that is not what that is, okay? So I don't know why they just wanted to clarify that. Like, nope, it's not that, it's something else. Um, like I said, it's gonna feel very unexpected. Like it's not something that's kind of like in your daily repertoire of people you talk to or situations you deal with. It's not something that like is in your mind. It's, it's gonna feel so out of the blue, okay? So that'll be a fun surprise for you, I guess. Um, also, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that the universe is sending you at this time because there will be a lot. First card out for you is the 10 of wands in reverse. Yeah, so what I feel for you is that you are coming out of a phase where there was just too much going on. Like you probably had so many social outings or like doing favors for people, like talking to all different types of people, organizing different things, having so many different responsibilities. So I actually like that this card is in reverse and it's showing up as the first card because the first card sometimes represents like the previous week. So I feel like um, it's like you finally, like you went through that difficult, challenging place where there's so much going on, you were feeling drained and probably the week before this week that we're talking about, which may be when you're watching this because it's when I'm posting it, um, so what would that be the week um leading up to the 20th so what is that the third to the 19th or i can't remember the dates but um yeah i feel like that may be a week where you finally were able to like play catch up and rest and rejuvenate and you're like finally we're back on schedule finally i'm well rested finally like we're in a nice groove again and i feel like that's what's so funny because it's like you're like that and you're happy and then it's like 
either something out of the blue comes up that's like a new a new chapter for you um neutral chapter not bad or it's like your own internal wanderlust or intuition is like all right it's time to mix things up again so shortly after you finally had that rest um second card out for you aquarius is the page of pentacles in reverse okay so this is to me representing a person or a situation in your life and they could be taurus virgo capricorn but they don't have to be uh, a lot of earth energy here and um oh i just got a weird message actually from the fairy elf realm this mystical realm right um now some of you might not believe in this so bear with me here but if you do believe in things like fairies and gnomes and um elves and things i think you should pay your respects to them this week because there is a little bit of mischief energy i am getting here um and fey energy in particular likes to <laughs> uh take things from our realm and if you ask for them back they will give them back like anytime i lose anything i ask the fairies help me find this thing and literally the second i ask it it pops up somewhere very obvious that like i could have sworn i looked at multiple times so i don't know i am getting a little bit of mischief some fey mischief going on for you this week so make sure to pay some respects there. The best thing you can do, honestly, for that is creating a native garden if you have land, like beautiful flowers. Um, I mean, it is August, so in the Northern Hemisphere, um, this may be a good time to plan a fall garden. Um, or if you live somewhere that's like warm all year round, you know, plant a beautiful garden, get like a lawn gnome to um, add some more play and protection to your front or backyard, I would say. Doing little magical things like that is coming through for some reason. Um, also, one thing I'm seeing here, there may be someone in your life who may not necessarily want to commit to you. That will apply for a few of you, not all of you. Um, and I'm seeing here like a sense of acceptance for that. Like, okay, this person does not believe in marriage, for example. I'm not going to try to force them or wait for them to change. Like, you're really accepting it. Or this person literally said, like, I don't want something serious with you. I'm not going to sit here and be delusional and think that they are eventually going to change. Third card out for you is death reversed. Okay, so this is a process of letting go of something. And this could be letting go of, like we said, something that literally told you like i don't want something more long term more stable um this could also be something that is not offering you something long term or stable here so some of you may be um energetically releasing or feeling guided to release or distance yourself a bit from any person any situation that does not have a future of stability so situationships will be let go of this week um not fully though i'm not saying you're letting go of it fully because death is in reverse so this could be like slowly spiritually and energetically distancing yourself from it um, that's what is probably most likely going to be the case for some of you. If this is a job, for example, and you're like, there's no room for growth in this company, like, I'm not going to get any good raises ever. Like, it could be like you mentally checking out and like doing the bare minimum at that job. And you may not necessarily be quitting, quitting this week, but you're definitely shifting gears mentally. And that will eventually lead you to fully quitting whatever this thing is. Second row out for you, fourth card, we see the eight of wands. Okay. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense it's like finally some alone time finally some stability finally some routine and then like all these new invitations come in people want to hang out with you people want to work with you and it all like unfolds rapidly like that and it's like oh my gosh it's exciting don't get me wrong but it's just the timing is so funny because i just feel this energy of like i was finally like comfortable and now there's like new things that are exciting of course but they will take me out of my comfort zone so beautiful life never stops doing the life thing life never stops growing um we have the ace of cups in reverse coming out as the center of your spread right underneath that page of pentacles reversed and like i said earlier there is a lot of energy here in aquarius right now where it's just like not the the offer of something long-term and stability just is not there with a certain relationship or friendship in your life so this could be something as simple as what a really good friend of yours who is a big part of your support system may be moving really really far away so obviously you guys aren't going to be as close like that um at least not physically so it's kind of like you almost don't want to keep 
getting your hopes up uh, with this person. This could also be romantic. I feel like if it is romantic, it might be a little bit more difficult because it's like this person is for whatever reason, clearly not able to offer something long-term or stable for you. So it's kind of like, I'm seeing a need to accept that, accept those circumstances. And now some of you can decide because this won't be anything long-term, I should no longer invest time or energy into it. Um, I don't know, Ace of Cups reversed though. I feel like it is a mild disappointment though. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly disappointing. It just feels mildly to moderately disappointing. Um, sixth card out, but I, I see a lot of acceptance that comes with it. It's interesting. Sixth card out for you is the five of wands. Yeah. You just don't see eye to eye with this person for a lot of you. Um, you just don't want the same things. And I feel like in your heart, you know, it's not going to work out. And so I, I, again, I keep coming back to the word acceptance. Like I accept the differences. A similar message came out actually for Gemini as well. So you might want to watch that reading if you have a Gemini placement or if this person that you're dealing with has a Gemini placement. Um, so yeah, like just accepting the differences and carrying on. That's what I'm seeing here. Final row out for you, seventh card. We have the queen of wands in reverse. Okay, here's the thing, guys. I, I feel like this is all correlating with each other, like spiritually. Um, I feel like there is a message from spirit this week to focus more on yourself and your own long-term happiness and creative projects. There may be a need here for more alone time, honestly, like just more time to pour and invest into yourself, your personal projects, your future, your business, okay? Because many of you might have been pouring so much energy into other people and external responsibilities, maybe even being a bit of a people pleaser for some of you. And I feel like your biggest spiritual lesson at this time is to have more self-love and self-focus, which is another message of the Ace of Cups in reverse. Sometimes reversed cards show a message that is meant to be like just for us and not necessarily predicting our external circumstances. So it's like, it's a card of self-love. This is a season for you of self-love and spending more time with yourself, which you might not have that much of right now, which is why the death card is coming out in reverse here, because it's like the longer you keep entertaining these connections where you know you don't want the same thing or these situations where you know it's not good for you long-term, it's not gonna lead anywhere long-term, the more you invest your time and energy into those things, the less successful you'll be personally. I'm just being straight up honest, that's literally coming from spirit, it's not coming from me. They're literally being very blunt here. It's like, the more you invest in people, situations, and circumstances that very clearly are not gonna lead anywhere, there is an end point here, the less you're able to invest that energy into yourself, meaning the less successful you will be, the less prosperous, the less just generally successful you'll be, money, material, health, happiness, love, like, invest your energy into self or into people and situations that will continuously grow for you over time. That's what we're seeing. Eighth card out is the Knight of Pentacles. Exactly, exactly. Let go of that little boy, little girl, page of pentacles energy in reverse, like mischievous, not offering something stable here, doesn't have much to offer and start investing into a Knight of Pentacles energy. Like this is someone with a long-term plan. When I think Knight of Pentacles, I think really long-term plan. We're thinking years, decades into the future here and making really good investments in your money, in your health, in your time. Okay, beautiful. Final card out, the magician reversed. Mm, mm hmm You know what? I There's two options. You can get manipulated into staying in these situations that have no future, or you can take your future into your own hands and invest it right here in the present moment, your time, your energy, your money, your everything, your body into the things you actually want to manifest for yourself on a personal level as an individual. So those are your options. Um, choose wisely. <laughs> I love you so much, Aquarius. I also just want to like clarify here. Like I said, for the majority of you, you aren't making like a clean break ending separation from this thing that has no future this week. It feels like mentally and spiritually, you're kind of prepping for that break. So don't be hard on yourself if you find it hard to let go of this thing, this situation right now, all right? I feel this is prep work and we are in Venus retrograde in 
Leo and that won't end until September 3rd or 4th so it may be around the tail end of that um, or shortly after that you do finally have like a clear ending of this kind of this is going nowhere energy so there you have it thank you for joining me like share comment subscribe watch for your sun moon rising and venus bye bye